Lala, okay. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. Yes, so uh, welcome uh, to this Body Brilliance uh, call. Uh, and uh, really, it's an amazing time of the year, right? Solstice time that's going this month of June is really lovely. And July brings us into another phase. So if, if we're actually willing to, in any way that works for us, connect with our bodies, what shows up for us? is immediately different, right? And uh, anyone who has any questions about body uh, processes, body classes, about body illness, uh, pain, uh, and anything, please don't hesitate to, uh, to ask. Uh, but I just would love to share, and maybe we can share together about that, you know, personalities versus being you. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a simplicity, really. Uh, and basically, we can always, this is what I do also with the seven steps, just asking your body what it knows and seeing, playing with it, playing with saying, hi, my name is John. And seeing how that shows up in your body, right? My, the back of my neck a little bit, you know, my my chest got a little um, closed, right? Hi, my name is Vino. Okay, so now my, my head went down a little bit, right? Uh, my forehead, right? And a, a little bit blocked. Hi, my name is Cass. My eyes are opening up. Things are really shining a little bit, you know? Then you can also play with um, my body is currently standing up. <laughs> it's going a little bit like this, right? My body is currently swimming in the ocean, right? It's actually going off a little to the left now. My body is sitting in a chair. And it actually opens up the back. You know, I, I played with a lot of these because of how often are we disconnected from what we really know, you know? Not when we're kids, really little and young kids, we're, we're so clear, but we see so many adults and everything, you know, um, saying things or doing things and, and it's a little strange for us. So we try to, you know, become, you know, something or someone else but really dedicating some time, playing, engaging, having fun with your body, it's quite different. Okay, <laughs> I just wanted to say that. <laughs> what does that bring up for you? No, just uh, what this I realize now that sometimes I make tea. Uh, I, I, I'm, I've been trying to get over this tea addiction, but it's been very difficult for me. And sometimes what I do, I just make it and keep it on the table and forget it to drink. So just before the call, I did the same and I realized, okay, maybe my body doesn't want. My mind is forcing me. Right. Well, the, the body brilliance also when you're listening to someone, right? Um, so I was just listening to her. I don't know what showed up for you, but she was saying the tea, uh, addicted to tea, it wasn't really light or heavy or didn't do anything. Then she said, you know, I've got addiction. And I was like, truth? Is that addiction? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've been telling myself that, that I'm addicted to tea. <laughs> so what is it that you have been telling yourself, everyone? And that is just a, you know, recurrent phrase or way of communicating with you. That is actually not communicating to and with your body and asking your body truth, am I addicted? I was in um, India, the first and the only actually seven day event that uh, um, Gary uh, Douglas uh, did. And, you know, my body doesn't want milk. My body doesn't want lactate, you know? So I was running someone's um, bars or doing a body process and somebody you know, that I know from Mumbai passed by me. She said, oh, Cass, can I bring you some lovely tea from 
um, uh, India, it's all uh, awesome. It's um, just a little bit of milk, a little bit of, and I was like, no, mm -hmm. I don't drink tea with milk. <laughs> and she was looking at me, she was like, really? And my body relaxed and I was like, yeah, okay. I would like mm -hmm. some tea from you. I had that tea, my body enjoyed it so much. Wow. Right? And then the, years ago, and then the next morning I woke up, I'm like, okay, I'm going to get some tea with milk. And my body was like, what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? what is it that perhaps we do one day that we're willing to receive in one moment, that we're willing yeah. to activate in one moment? And if we're not asking our body <laughs> the next time, what is it that shows up for us that mm -hmm. is not in, in congruent with who we are, who we be? It's everything that is, yes. right? Everything that is, even if when we meet someone, when we're talking with someone, it's like, oh no, I don't want to talk to them again. Truth, why would they show up today mm -hmm. for you? Yeah. So ask your body. Wow. Yes. Cool. That Blah, is amazing. Buffy. Okay. <laughs> so what? It's so lucky for you to join us on this call on this body. Brilliant. Yeah. Call. Share, share, please. Anyone else? Anyone else wants to share something or ask something? This is answer with this with, I, because I'm on my phone, so I just see a, a few of us. So it, with this lovely mustache <laughs> <Do you? laughs> is that harish or so look i can see him yes yes yeah <laughs> <laughs> hello hello guys oh i uh, yeah yes 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 yeah. so would you like to share your experience or or even yes experience or even like what I had spent more than I think uh, one dozen days with uh, Cass Thomas doing uh, seven steps to flawless communication, basic, advanced, and at Mumbai, Ashish Narayan Kar's class. And, uh, you know, uh, with the Shasha Nagpurwala, many Zoom calls. So I was always very happy with her and her uh, excellent facilitation. So I recommend, strongly recommend everybody to attend her classes and gain some insights into three-day body class. Absolutely. That, that how is, Now, how does that, what he said, affect your body? My body's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was also like, wow. <laughs> yes. Not a compliment, it's an acknowledgement and a recognition. Yes. 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 And they um lovely. I, I got my visa for a year. That's yeah. what I don't just have to do it because once I did wasn't able to get back to India or got a class a few years back. So everyone's like, get a year visa. Yes. I can use American passport or my Italian passport and so yes. yeah. <laughs> enough about me let's talk about you what do you think of me ah, just kidding <laughs> India loves you <laughs> <laughs> yes you know how much India has been a part of my life all my life yes yes that's my uh I have a question if I ask. yes beautiful and then I want to ask yeah yes, yeah so to ask, you know, I have a lot of belly fat and I have been using uh, de-molecular manifestation, molecular de-manifestation, de uh, you know, that whole process, but it's not working. So I wanted to know, uh, do I just do molecular de-manifestation to remove the belly fat or one has to do the whole process? Um, I get yes to the whole process and it's not working. Uh, are you working? Yes. <laughs> Truth? Yes. Say my name is Cass. My name is Vandana. No, say my name is Ka my name is Vandana. How does that feel in your body? Like truth. My name is Cass. Doesn't seem like a truth. Right. So um the DMMD is not working. 
is that does that would it say that yes no say that say that the dmmd is not working DM dmmd is not working for my belly fat loss no nope, the dmmd is not working the dmmd is not working light or heavy light okay and the um i am working I am working light. Right. So what is there another process that you could engage with that would activate the change you've been asking for? Truth, yes? Yes, it's coming light. Cool. The truth, no. So everything that doesn't, so just repeat this, everything that doesn't allow me to perceive it. Everything that doesn't allow me to perceive it. Know it. Know it. Be it. Be it. Be it. Sorry? Be it. Repeat, be, be it. it. Be it. I said, huh? Be it. Be it. Be it. Be it. All right. And receive it. And receive it. And receive it. And receive it. Right? So um, there's a difference when you say, and receive it. I'm beginning to feel very heavy and nauseous, so yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> that may be the change you've been asking for showing up in a different way than you ever imagined. But um, so when you say, receive it. Receive it. Uh-huh. That's different. Yes. Receive, receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Ah, nice. Lovely. Receive it. Feeling lighter. Yeah, with ease. With ease. Doesn't have to be easy, but with ease. With ease. With ease. ease. And joy. Doesn't have to be happy, but joy. And joy. Because joy is actually who we are and what we are. Shh, don't tell anyone I said that. <laughs> and glory. And glory. 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 Exuberant expression of life and living. Exuberant expression of life and living. So everything that doesn't allow me to perceive it, know it, be it, and receive it with ease, joy, and glory. Everything that doesn't allow me to know, be, perceive it, and receive it with ease, joy, and glory. I now destroy and uncreate all of that. I now destroy and uncreate all of that. Times a godzillion. Times a godzillion. All a zillion. Our zillion. Billion. Bill is <laughs> Buddha zillion. Buddha zillion. Buddha zillion. Sorry, pardon? Buddha zillion. <laughs> Rama zillion. Right and wrong. Right been bad, part and park, all nine short boys, poets, and beyonds. Cool. Same, same, or different? It's feeling lighter. Cool. Are you willing to, is it just feeling lighter or is it actually being lighter? Being lighter. Cool. Because um, perceive, no be, and receive is different than thoughts, feelings, and emotions, especially yeah. with, and that is the body's brilliance. Doesn't make, you know, thoughts, feelings, and emotions wrong. Sex and no sex, right? Like we say in access. It doesn't make it wrong. It's just a lower vibration. And these bodies, I don't know if does anyone have any blood in their body? Yes? Yes. Any water in the body? Yes. Really? You too. Wow. Any cells in the body? Yes. Really? Truth? Truth. Everyone? Wow. Any molecules in the cells? Yes. Amazing. Any air in the body? Yes. A lot of it. All right. <laughs> yeah. So is there air outside of our bodies? Yes. In the world, in the universe? Are there molecules? Yes. So what is the contribution that we can be and receive? What is the communication 
that we can be and receive from all the molecules, all the air, right? That's not only in our bodies, but allow our bodies and those molecules, air and everything to communicate and engage with the universe. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in all of the perception, knowing, being, and receiving. Breathe out all thoughts, feelings, emotions, points of view. Breathe in all of that connection. And breathe out and flow the brilliance that you and your body be and allow the contribution with the connection of your body brilliance from the earth, from the moon, from the stars, and the sun up in the sky and beyond. It's, it's so much more simple than that thinking, having to do. Sometimes, like Dr. Dane says too, no, receive, no, be, and receive, and be aware when you have to do. But if you're willing to be that expanded thoughts, feelings, and emotions, that perception, right? You know, oh, body, is there something required now? Truth, yes. Okay, no. All right, keep going. Yeah, keep going. Let me know when something is required or desired or something that I can do would be the change. And talk with your body, right? Like he, he was saying with the seven steps, and we'll have some of the books. We're doing a book reading live and online on Saturday, the 13th. Um, and uh, I do a specialized signature <laughs> on the books with a little kiss. <clears throat> but knowing when your body is communicating to you, it shows up in a different way, right, than we would imagine. So would you like to, maybe we'll all do this too, because whether or not your tummy is not large enough or too large or whatever you have considered it as, would you like to put your hands on your tummy for a moment? Hi, tummy. Hi, tummy. Hi, tummy. Hi, tummy. Body, body, stomach. stomach. Hello. 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 Hi there. Hi there. Is now the time for the change I've been asking for? It's now the time for the change that you've been asking for. Truth, yes? Yes. And if you get a yes, okay, so everything, then allow me to perceive it, no, be it, and receive it. Time to destroy and destroy and create all that. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, cold, nine, short, boys, pulpits, and beyonds. Your body is never in judgment of you. It's not something the body has. And even if you are in judgment of your body, the moment you connect with your body, it's there for you without any thoughts, feelings, emotions about how it was before, right? And sometimes we think, oh, we, we can't be that ease or that easy because maybe we'll be boring. Actually, it goes beyond your wildest imagination, right? And so everywhere, you don't have to communicate that to people, just with you just with you, just for fun. You never actually have to tell anyone. Yeah. 
Thank you. Thank you, Cass. Right. Thank Shaitan, let's raise your hand. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Because that, what contribution was her question? Yeah, that was very contributing for me, especially. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Adding on to that, can I ask something? Yes. Uh, something else? Because you just asked something just now. Just kidding. <laughs> can okay. I ask <laughs> yeah, thank you. And you uh, know, so when, my... you laugh, when you laugh, you get all you release all of those <laughs> structures. Yes, go ahead. And Dali. since morning, it was so difficult to laugh today, actually. So... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my question is: I don't have commitment towards my body. If I I have been resisting so much of resistance to lose weight, I have been trying to lose weight since years but not an inch I reduce. I try so many things, but I feel I don't respect and have that continuous commitment for my body. I do something for some days, then I leave it. Feeling like it won't change anything in my life. So that consistency, how to get for that? All right. So when we, we've, thanks to these com the, you know conversations thus far, we're a bit connected, yes, with our bodies was there most of what she said was quite light. For me, there were two things that didn't, that weren't light. Just saying, right? One was about not being committed to your body. Right? So truth, are you connected with your body? No. Truth, yes? Truth, no. Because the way it shows up, yeah. Say, let me know. Because she's smiling. I'm not presently connected. I'm not connected. Right. And this is my Delhi phrase, up until now. <laughs> up until now. Now repeat the, that sentence after, uh, first by saying up until now. Up until now. Up till now. Up till now. I didn't get it. You said I, I'm not um, um, connected with my body. So can you yes. start the sentence again and first say up until now? I'm not connected to my body up till now. Okay. So up until now, I have not been connected with my body. When you use that phrase up until now, what you express is in the past tense up to the present. And so you invite something different in the future. Because when your body hears, I'm not connected with my body, it's like, oh, really? Uh, I thought we were connected. Okay, we don't want to make her wrong. So we have to ha keep help her feel still that she's right and that we're not connected. But if you say, up until now, I have not been connected with my body. Mm -hmm. Right up until now, I have not spoken with this person. Right? Oh, I never speak with this person. That's different than up until now. I have never spoken with this person. It's different. So please try that. It's Cass's deli phrase. <laughs> the first time I went to India years ago, I was in Delhi, and and everyone was actually um, initially saying what and who they are not. But the change that we have been asking for can show up for us if we're willing to open the door, all right? Yeah. So for me, uh, your body is very connected with you. And listen, you know, my, I've got this little song, I'll play it on with you on the uh, uh, Seven Steps book reading. Um, but this step um, two of the seven steps is talk to your body, right? Not at your body, but to and with your body. Step two, converse with your body, listen closely when it speaks. Yeah. Okay, listen closely. <clears throat> and playing with that, you know, my name is Cass, <clears throat> my name is John, my name is, and seeing what the difference is. So 
So what are you and your body at the moment looking to receive? I shared this. I had put on a lot of weight. And I went into the mirror and said to my body, okay, body, are you ready to lose weight? I got to know. I was like, oh my goodness. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Okay. I said this before, right? You ladies heard that. Maybe I need to become a guru and not be sexy. And, you know, I have this. And I was like, okay, stop. Body, please. Let me know when you're ready. A couple of months went by. And, you know, every morning I do that, show me the magic. That's step one of the seven steps. I look up at the sky, show me my magic, show me my magic. And my leg went up on the window and I started exercising with my leg. And like two months later, I was in Brazil and I was like, oh, oh my goodness, body, are, are you ready to lose weight? And my body said, yes. I pinged on WhatsApp, a gymnastics teacher in Italy. I said, I'll be back in two weeks. I want to come to the gym. About 20 kilos. 10 went into muscles. And 10 just left the body. So are you willing? And sometimes if we want to be gurus, if we don't want to be sexually abused, if we don't want people um, to just be looking at our bodies, but we want them to feel our vibration. Many things, you know, many different things. It might be a time when your body is communicating to you. Let's stay the way we are now. Okay, body. Okay, if you want to stay this way. So is your body, has your body been asking to stay the way it is? up until now. Mm. And ask your body, is now the time for change? Truth yes, truth no. Let me know when. Let me know when. And you might be walking down the street or talking or doing a class or something like that. And all of a sudden you perceive that same vibration that you got when you said, we're talking with your body and ask that. And you might be like, oh, excuse me one moment. I just have to go wash my hands. And you go into the bathroom and look in the mirror and touch your body. Body is now the time. Are you communicating something? Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's work on it. That is the body brilliance. And it lets you know. <clears throat> Friend of mine from um, Turkey, she was eating vegetables so many vegetables and she was a, a little bit feeling ill with vegetables so she had asked me in a three-day body class you know what what could that be so well, what do you know of, what does your body know about what's going on with the farming you know and a month later we were in uh, germany with an advanced body class with gary <laughs> Douglas. And so she asked again, <laughs> he said the same thing. So how, <laughs> she said, Gas said the same thing to me. Well, what is your body communicating to you that you're not willing to hear, but that it is communicating to us? It's everything. Please don't ever make you wrong. You cannot get you wrong. There is no one, no one that does you better than you. Know that. And say to your body, I'm going to do my best to be connected with you today, body. Yeah. So anything you want to share with me, let me know. And you can have jokes with your body that you can't have with anyone else. You can have laughter with your body. Body, can you make me laugh, please? <laughs> or you can say really funny things. 
uh, with your body. <laughs> this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna run outside with no shoes or with no pants or with no hat or no you know just laughing with your body will actually expand that zone and allow you to have your body brilliance. And that vibration that you are when you're connected with your body is such a gift to the planet. You'll see the roses or the trees when you walk by, they'll be like, oh, oh, let, let, let's move a little bit. Let's move a little bit. And you're walking and you're being present. Yeah. And you're doing that catwalk, which we play with in the in the three-day body class. It's the catwalk. And it's has so less to do about walking and so much more to do about connecting with your body. Does that make sense? Thank you so much. Yes, yes, completely. Thank you so much. Oops, the access says if you make sense, then you probably not say. It. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. All right. Yes. Thank you. Anyone else? Yeah. So, what is the change that we've been asking for, intellectually? or energetically. And that the world has been asking for us and asking from us that if we're willing to be it, being you, you can and will change the world. How does it get, how does it get, how does it get any better than that? How does it get? Awesome. All right. So do you want to share anything with us, ladies? These lovely ladies. Yes. You're typing, typing. All right. So the brilliance of our bodies is that we would not have chosen right, to be here on planet Earth if it were not the time. we would not have chosen our bodies, right? So anywhere we have been disconnected from our bodies up until now, that's fine. It's an invitation for us to change, to be and receive our reception yeah. and not be you know, the personality, but be us. <laughs> All right. You want to come off the mic, Annie? Yeah. Anyone, anything else? Oop. No more questions, I guess. All right. Any answers? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we I will have a picture. Say it again. Smile, smile, please. I would like to take. Smile. Okay, it's taking picture. You smile. You smile. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome. How about, is anyone going to the advanced body class with the doctor, the, the doctor of consciousness, Mr. <laughs> Gary Douglas and uh, Kalpana? You know, even if they are not planning to go for ABC, whatever they have not done to, I would still suggest them to come for body class. If 30 minutes can be so contributing, wonder what can three days bring in life? No, it's, a, magic. It, it's, it's always a contribution to me. Yeah. Bodies, you know, they're, we're receiving and gifting, not just in the room, but also from the planet and playing the, um, a few things. I love yeah. that. Thank you for the invitation. <laughs> you know, if 30 minutes can be so contributing, then what can three days bring? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> <laughs> they just have to choose. It's just a matter of choice. Yes. And uh, you don't have to choose. Yeah. Choose and choose and choose again. <laughs> yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hey, thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody.
Yes, and we'll share the um, the intro. Come again. (laughs) Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Thank Thank you. you. Bye bye.